number. This is the alimentary canal of a dissected bird, an imama. One of the examples of the birds we'll be talking about is the chicken. Now, in the parts of the chicken, of the alimentary canal of the chicken, we have the esophagus, we have the crop. This is the esophagus where the food passes into, then straight to the crop, and also the proventriculus, which is this part, all right? This is the pancreas, this is the location of the pancreas. This is the duodenum, all right? We have the gizzard, okay? This is the part of the gizzard. This is the gallbladder. This part is the gallbladder. The liver is close to the gallbladder. This is the cacum. This is the location of the cacum. This is the cloaca. All right, this part. And this is the large intestine. This is the large intestine. We equally have the small intestine, the jejunum, and the ileum. Now let's go straight to the alimentary canal of a rabbit. Now this is the salivary glands, salivary glands where saliva is mixed up with the food and passes straight onwards to the esophagus, then to the stomach, from then onwards to the small intestine. Once the food is acted up with enzymes in the stomach, it now passes on to the small intestine. It has the liver, it has the pancreas, it has the colon, it has the rectum, that is where the feces pellets are, all right, before passing on to the anus, okay, it has the cacca and pedix, and it has a functional cacca, all right, now, the comparison between them, in that of the chicken, Okay, the chicken and the rabbit both have the esophagus. The second comparison between them is that they both have small intestines and large intestines. Now, the small intestine, where the food passes first, you know, as it passes through the esophagus down to the crop, okay, where the food acts upon with enzymes, then straight to the proventriculus, then the pancreas, which secretes enzymes too down to the duodenum, then to the small intestine, which is the jejunum, and also to the ileum within the small intestine. Then it passes on to the large intestine, all right? The food then goes on to the large intestine. From then on, goes straight to the cloaca. Then that of the rabbits. The food uh, mixes up with the saliva, passes through the esophagus, then to the stomach where enzymes are acted upon with the food okay then straight downwards to the pancreas where it secretes enzymes then always to the small intestine okay the small intestine they both have small intestines where the food passes through all right now this is the position of the small intestine in the chicken all right the chicken has the jejunum and the ileum in the small intestine okay and that of the rabbit it just have the small intestine so they both have small intestines where the food passes through or pass through they equally both have the pancreas okay they have the pancreas they both have liver this is the position of the liver in the chicken and this is the position of the liver in the rabbit okay